Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another vlog. Thank you guys very much for joining me. My name is TJ. Uh, today I wanted to talk about something uh, that I've noticed about myself in my life this past, uh, this past, I don't know, eight or nine months. And uh, the title of this vlog should be something like, uh, how words affect us or letting words get to us. Um, and so I wanted to talk about something that happened to me uh, back in April, something that someone said, uh, and how it's like always stayed in the back of my mind for months. Every now and then it'll just keep popping up and someone's here, uh, but it's not for me. <laughs> um, and, uh, and then recently I kind of finally worked through it. Um, so uh, I'm trying to focus with the people who come in the house. Um, so, okay, back in, and I, I felt like I wanted to, I wanted to share this with you in case it helps you and also just let you know what's going on. Something, something that I went through. I just want to share it with you. Hopefully it'll help you through something. Okay. Um, back in April, uh, there was a lot of cool stuff going on. Uh, I was flown out to Nashville to meet with some people, talk about kind of helping them build a YouTube network. Um, they ended up building that and I was kind of uh, an advisor if you will They brought a lot of the music industry side of things and I brought a lot of the YouTube side of things and uh, You know I've worked at different places and there was someone that I was talking to out there. Uh, I think um, who said uh, Who said Something along the lines of like youtubers try to do too much and try to do everything and it was kind of this like, God, YouTubers just try to do too much, try to do everything. And they just, it was a real like exasperated tone. And I was, and I just like, that like it hit me and I was like, cause I totally do, you know, like I have a comedy channel, I have a music channel, I have a gaming channel, I have a vlog channel. Uh, all my entire life, I've always done a lot of different stuff. I have the like Da Vinci thing where I just want to, I want to, I want to dabble in a lot of things and I want to have that information uh, and that experience inform my whatever it is I do, my endeavors. Um, now, sometimes it does become more of like a jack of all trades, master of none kind of thing. Uh, but, you know, even back in high school, I did football, I did music, I did musical theater, I did engineering teams, I did quiz bowl, I did writing for the student newspaper, I was... Uh, editor-in-chief of the poetry club and stuff like that and I had a I had like I started a, a instrumental quartet or because there was no orchestra in my high school and all this like stuff and like that's you know a lot of those things that I was doing were very different things you know football and musical theater uh, and that's what defined me is that I did these completely dichotomous things like opposite end of the spectrum things and that's what defined me and so I've always done that my entire life. Uh, I've always been a musician athlete, you know. Um, so I've taken that to YouTube and I've tried to continue doing that. Um, and I think in the entertainment industry, you can like look at people, uh, even back like in early Hollywood, there was the singer, actor, dancers. Like, uh, oh, I'm going to forget his name. Um <laughs> I was gonna say Frank Sinatra, and he's an act, like an actor singer, but uh, Fred Fred Astaire, um, actor singer dancer, phen phenomenal dancer. You know him and Ginger Rogers. Uh, Charlie Chaplin was uh, an actor and writer and director and producer, and there's all those kinds of people this these days too in current entertainment industry too, right? You know Justin Timberlake, uh, Clint Eastwood. Um, Brad Pitt is now like a director and producer, you know, so uh, stuff like that. So I, I don't feel that unusual, but it, it just really struck a chord with me when this guy said this and it's made me think. And there's also like a talk. I think there was a TED talk I watched around the same time that mentioned grit. It was all about grit. And if you go look this up, it's a great talk and it has a great point. And I, I absorbed it and it, it didn't affect me negatively. It affected me positively. But what this guy said was, was it kind of stuck with me in a negative way. The grit talk was about how if you are con if you're like a ship, and the things you do are like ports, and you're and you're going towards a port because you're doing music, and then you switch over to acting. Well, you never quite make it to that music port, right? You never make it to 
uh, to England. I don't know. I don't, that was London. Is London on the... I don't think London's on the ocean. You don't ever make it to England, and then you start going towards acting, for example, with me. And then so you start sailing towards Canada, and then you decide to change to gaming. So you start sailing towards Mexico. And meanwhile, you never quite make it anywhere, because you're constantly tacking between ports, whatever, you know, whatever it is that you're doing, or whatever your endeavors are. Um, and therefore, you never maybe really ever achieve anything. You're just always between ports. You never get anywhere. And that was a really interesting talk, and, and I was like, you know, I really should start focusing more. Um, but there are people who do all this stuff and who are successful. So, like, you know, it's not impossible. It's just you really have to be concentrated and dedicated. But what this guy said, like, really stuck with me. And, uh, and I started just thinking, like, maybe I'm doing too much. Maybe I'm really just, you know, on YouTube, I don't see too many people who do a lot of different stuff. I think there was a lot of people in the early days of YouTube. Uh, you know, like Olga has a lot of different channels. Uh, who else? Um, you know, I think, uh, oh, what's his name? I'm going to forget his name right now. Shane Dawson. I think he has a lot of different channels. I think it was the, the variety of channels, especially in the older days of YouTube. You know, you didn't really see many people doing everything on one channel. Um, and then I think maybe in the like last year or two, there's some people who are doing everything on one channel. Um, or there's like, I think these are just like my people who I know, like I'm sure you guys know more people on YouTube. Luke Connor does like a lot of different things on YouTube. Uh, and so he has a couple different channels, right? Um, and Chester C does like, you know, acting and music. He does like comedy, but he also does like some producing stuff nowadays. So like you did see some people doing a variety of things. But I was just wondering like, like my comedy is not about me, you know, like whereas like a lot of these other people like they do sketch comedy. So it's about them, you know, they're the, they're the, the leads, they're the stars, right? My comedy, I try to make it about other people. It's about giving other people smiles and... So my brand of comedy is kind of more like improv everywhere. Like the guy who started improv everywhere, uh, he brings people together. So first of all, it's not about him. It's about the people that he brings together. And then they go out to the streets of usually New York and do something special for the residents of New York. And it's, it's really special seeing him and what he does and the effects that they have on people. And the videos are all about people's reactions. And so that's what uh, I am trying to make my comedy more about. And it's really difficult. It's really, it's really challenging to put yourself out there uh, in public doing improv with the fear of rejection, you know. Um, and hopefully, hopefully you get it right. Hopefully you get it, make people smile. But it's really tough. And Los Angeles is really stringent on where you can film and where you can't and whatnot. So anyways, that's my comedy. And the music is like what I really want to do, but, uh, you know, like if I do comedy, but I don't do music comedy, right? Like Chester has done a lot of musical comedy. Um, now he also does like a lot of serious stuff too. And I, I, I really respect him and like, I really admire him. Um, but then I do gaming as well, you know? Uh, and those three things are very, they can be very different. You can do music and gaming together, like the parodies that I've done with the Warp Zone guys. You can do music and comedy together, like what Chester and like what Toby uh, do. Um, and you can do comedy and gaming. Um, you know, that's more like, I guess it's also like what Toby does. Uh, I think Toby and I are like Tobuscus, if you, I'm sure you guys know him. Uh, I think we're very similar, but I, my music is more serious. Like my music is not comedy music. My music it tends to be, unless it's a parody, my music tends to be serious music, you know, it's like putting out an album or whatnot. So, um, they don't really, my stuff doesn't really blend. Uh, it does sometimes, but that's a rare situation when it does. The comedy is very focused on other people. The music is like very serious and the gaming is very comedic. Uh, and I don't know. So, 
and then I do vlogs and like you know I, I feel like it's really just the hardcore people who watch this stuff I, I don't really tend to be too entertaining it's more just like what is in my head you know so it's I don't know and so I like I appreciate you guys a lot who watch these vlogs um what are we at 10 minutes so far okay uh so it just really stuck with me that the idea that people can get exasperated with people who try to do too much and it made me think because this person comes from like the old media of the music industry um i just made me think like do do i do too much is this something that's going to get in my way is this what's holding me back um and i it just kind of stuck with me it always came back up and it like it kept like i'd be doing fine and then I'd think, oh, I'm doing too much now. I gotta really focus. I, I, I'm doing too much. I gotta like stop doing so much. And it like, it was a negative thing. It was me getting mad at myself. Uh, and it wasn't like a huge thing, but it was like a little, little biting, biting the ankles, you know? And like, ah, oh. like it didn't, it didn't take me out of the knees or anything. It was just like little biting at, at the feet. And so, it just kind of kept staying with me. And then I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't, I, I would just focus like intently on one thing. I'd be like, I got to stop doing everything else. I got to really focus on this. I can't do anything else. So like, that's, I think that's kind of why like I let the gaming videos drop the last month and why music is so sporadic because like I don't feel in comedy too. I don't feel like I can do everything at once. I feel like I'm sacrificing things if I try and do too much at once sacrificing quality or, or whatever um and I, I just i feel like it's affected my output when i try to do too much at once because of this one comment and uh in like the past couple weeks um since getting back to los angeles like the last i don't know 10 two weeks let's say two weeks i started hanging out with some people who do a lot of stuff who do a crazy amount of things and it's it's a little ridiculous how much they do and um it's been really inspiring actually it's been really inspiring to see someone and people who do more than what even should be possible who uh like sacrifice not just sac it's a lifestyle it's not they're sac they're not sacrificing their life it's a lifestyle. Like, their lifestyle is making videos. Uh, and it's just, um, it's so cool to see people who are just, like, so gung-ho about doing that. It's like, it's like, when I lived with, like, Kurt, like, Kurt does, like, one thing. Kurt makes music. It's, and he makes videos. So he makes music videos. But, like, he makes music. And then he goes and films a video and edits it, edits it and makes it beautiful. But he makes music. That's what he does. You know, he does one thing, really. Uh, and the other people who I've kind of hung out with who do a lot of different things, um, sometimes I feel like they're not focused. And they were like examples of what this guy had said, that they're trying to do too much. And it just wasn't, it just wasn't working. And I was like, God, I can't. I can't do that. I can't let myself fall into this trap of doing too much. So anyways, this these people I've been hanging out with recently, they do so much and it's been really inspiring to me. Like there it is. All it, it's just a mental thing. Like if you want to if you want to I, I don't know, like sometimes I feel like I need to maintain a balanced lifestyle. And like sleep is definitely important. But like, you know, like eating and sleeping and exercise are super important. And they're like the the even if you don't do them, like they're still, they're still the backbones of I think a healthy healthy lifestyle. Eating right or not, it's just just eating, like eating in general. Sometimes, like not eating can really make you unhappy. Sleeping can really affect your whole life. Uh, exercise can really affect your whole life. Getting all three of those things on a regular basis, not necessarily every single day. I mean, not exercise every single day. Uh, can be, it's just really important. Um, but like, if you want to sit down and make like. 20 gaming videos in a day you can do that it is literally just a mental thing like sit down with the right attitude or do something to get yourself in the right attitude another like really great mantra i've liked recently the past two months is don't wait to be in the mood to do something 
do something to be in the mood. So don't wait to be in the mood to record a song. For me, this is just me talking. Don't wait to be in the mood to record a gaming video. Do something to be in the mood to record a gaming video. Put yourself in the mood, all right? Don't just like sit back and wait and be like, oh, I'm not in the mood to like make a vlog. I'm not in the mood to study. I'm not in the mood to, to go practice. I'm not in the mood to, to practice, whatever, to practice music, to practice sports, to practice studies, to practice if you like whatever you want to be. Don't wait to be in the mood to, to be doing something. Do something to be in the mood. You know what I'm saying? So that's something I've really liked. And like hanging out with these people recently, it's just, it's like, they make so many videos per week. And it's just so inspiring. So I'm really stoked on that. And uh, and it's, it's inspiring. It's really inspiring me. Um, and so I don't necessarily let someone's words affect you too long, too deeply, too much. If you find something that someone has said affecting you, you know, first of all, figure out why it's affecting you. It's, it's always, if you feel something negative, I always try to get myself to think about it and figure out why. Because if you can figure out the why, you can understand. And understanding leads to a lot of good stuff. Acceptance, sympathy, whatever. You can like really, you can get to the positive emotions if you can think through the negative ones. So if you can understand why. So this guy's comment affected me. Why? Because he was talking, I felt like he was talking about what I do. Not necessarily, he wasn't saying it about me. He was just saying it in general. So yeah, I do a lot of different things and they're a lot of, they're very different. Like I also do Hollywood acting, you know, like uh, I've done like commercial acting and whatnot, but that's like, that doesn't necessarily mean a bad thing. Like that could be great. Um, and you know, like, yeah, I can't pitch myself in like a really easy, simple sentence. I can't be like, oh yeah, I'm a singer, actor, uh, songwriter, um, gamer. You know, like, I, I can't, I can't do that, but that's okay. Like, I think on YouTube, like, uh, and also this person has been so successful just on YouTube. These people, this, this crew, they've been so successful just on YouTube. Like they made their success by themselves. They don't need other people. They didn't need other people. They've just been doing it. Uh, and I've kind of felt like you know, what if you need somebody else? You know, what if I need somebody else? Not that I, I do, not that I do or don't, but like, what if, you know? And, and I want to be able to like, I wanted to be able to pitch myself to, to old media. They, and they need like, they just need like a, a quick summary sentence, you know, and like, like, a, like a Twitter description, right? Like, what do you put in your Twitter description? Do you put something completely unrelated or not unrelated, but like, do you put an actual description? I'm very informational, so I just want to put like an actual description in there. But like, you don't need to do that. You know, like you look at a lot of the, the really successful YouTube people and they just, they just be and do and are. And they're not super like, how do I, how do I pitch myself, you know? So that's been like pretty cool. I, I think sometimes I'm too self-aware and I'm too thinking I get caught up in my head. Uh, and that makes sense from where I come from, you know, that makes sense, like, why I do that now, but it's okay to, like, let go, and I'm learning that, and I'm learning it's okay to just go and do. You don't have to constantly be aware of things. Awareness is great, self-reflection is great, but you don't always have to be like that. Um, so anyways, that's just, like, what I'm learning, but what I want to tell you guys is that you don't have to, no, 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 don't let what people say get to you. Understand why it's affecting you, and then understand it, and then for me what you know go hang out and be around people who inspire you that i haven't done that in a long time i haven't done that in a very long time um i've been around people who inspire me one way or another but it's it's always like it's always not quite what i do you know i've been around people who like make great music but then i feel like i shouldn't do these other things because maybe music is maybe music is the only thing i should do but that's not me you know uh so, you know, that's great for a little bit. Or maybe, like, I hang out with, like, gamers for a little bit. And, like, oh, man, I should just do gaming. I should, like, why am I trying to do music? Like, what, 
you know, if I do music, I should try and be on the radio. I'm doing it all wrong. But that's not true. Um, or if I do comedy, you know, I should just really focus on like just doing comedy, whatever. And like, that's not, that's not me. I do everything. Or I do all the three things that I do, right? And hanging out with this crew who like do a variety of things and they do them like intense and hardcore. And that's just been really freaking awesome. Um, and that's been like inspiring me. So, so my, my message to you in this vlog is, uh, if some, if some said, if someone says something that bothers you, understand why, understand why they're saying it, understand why it bothers you, uh, understand if it has legitimacy or not. And then just put that in a little box. Decide if you want to accept it or or not. Decide, put, you know, put it away and be like, I'll deal with it later. And in the meantime, find people who truly inspire you for what you want to do. If you want to be the best, man, there's so many things out there in the world. Put yourself around people who inspire you. Maybe they're not doing the exact same thing you are, but maybe it's just their drive inspires you. Maybe it's their dedication. Maybe it's their intelligence. Maybe it's their charisma. Maybe it's their creativity. Maybe it's their passion. Maybe it is what they're doing, you know? Get an internship somewhere where people inspire you and draw and, and thrive off of that and, and just roll with it because that's what's going to get you to where you want to be or that's what's going to make you feel happy when you feel like you're with people who inspire you. So that's my message and words and how we let them affect us because that's that's something that's that happened to me. That's, that's, these words have been with me for like nine months or something like that. And uh, it's just now that I'm working through them. And I'm like, you know what? Maybe that's true for some people, but that's not true for me because I am someone who enjoys and loves to do a lot of different things. And it's completely possible. There's a lot of hours in the day and there's a lot of people who are your friends and who want to help and help you and see you succeed. So if you can get them to help you and work with you, everyone's successful. Anyways, okay, now I'm now I'm just drifting. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped you out. Uh and you know what? Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. If you've had something similar, because maybe some people are going to read that comment and that's going to, they're going to identify with that. So leave me a comment down below. I would love to read it too, just to know. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, as always, stay safe, stay classy, and I'll see you again soon. Adios.